and welcome to the tutorial on how to set up your child with a Khan Academy account. You are looking at my home computer, Michael Wagner, fourth grade teacher. Um, I'm not really sure what the background image is, but this is typically what a computer screen would look like other than this little program I have running. I'm going to minimize it. Oh, it's gone. Um, and if you have Windows 7, you're probably familiar with this. Otherwise, it, it might look a little different. Um, but here's the basic steps, and it's really easy to set up a Khan Academy account. Uh, the first thing you need to do is get on the internet by clicking on the blue E. And my internet brings me CNN. I don't know what your home page is. Um, but the, the easiest way to do that is to set up either a Google or a Facebook. And um, just thinking as a parent, I would probably want my child to have a Google rather than a Facebook account. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you don't already have one. If you as a parent have a Google account, then you can use yours and just sign your kid up under that and that way they don't have to have their personal email if you don't want or you can sign your child up with their own personal email account and then later in a new video I will show you how to um, put safety security settings on that so here we are at Google um, setting up my own account I'm gonna click on sign in even though I don't have an account yet and over here it says accounts create an account for free. So I'm going to click on that. To do this, I, I just fill in all this information. So I'm going to put in my information. And I'm literally creating a new account that I'm going to use. And let's see if that will work. Someone has already taken my name. Mr. Wagner, teacher. Okay, well, Maybe I don't want that. I don't know. I'm thinking of what I want my... Because this will be essentially what my email is. Maybe we'll try this. I don't want to give away too much information. Um, Mr. W. Teacher. Okay, that seems to be good. So now I need a password. So I'm just going to think of a password, which you can't see, which is okay. Put in my birthday. You could theoretically don't tell anybody I'm saying this, but you could put in um, the wrong birthday. Gender, I am a male. Mobile phone, I'm not going to put that in. Um, other email address, I will put in my other one. And then uh, to prove that I'm not a robot, I enter in this phrase as A-R-D-A-R-Y-D-A-R IS space 48. I think that's correct. And I have to agree. And Google may use my account information to personalize plus ones. No, I don't want to do that. You may choose to uncheck that as well if you don't want to deal with their um, kind of their version of Facebook. So really all I did was fill in the blanks here. This right here is my username, which I will then use to log into Khan once I'm all done. Uh, it's also going to be what my email will be. It'll be Mr. W Teacher at gmail.com. So that's what that is. So let's proceed to the next step. Uh, I don't want a profile picture. I'm not going to put any personal information on here, nor do you. Welcome, Michael. Get started. Okay. So I have an email address, Mr. W Teacher at gmail.com. Fabulous. Okay, so now you can see right here, it knows that I am logged on. So I'm going to exit out of this, open it back up, go back to Google, always goes to my home page. And it, it doesn't have me logged in, so I can come to sign in. Uh, it remembers me, but it, it won't always. I can enter in my password. And now I can check my email by going to Gmail. There's all kinds of things. Uh, maybe someday I'll, I'll show you some of the other things you can do with a Google account. If you don't have one and you have the internet, it, I mean, you can make Word documents. You can just do all kinds of things with Google. Uh, it's really an amazing tool. But that is how you make a Google account. So now we are going to use this and go to something completely separate. www.conacademy.org And you can type it up there or you can Google it either way. But I chose to type it in. And this is the Khan Academy. Let me just introduce this to you a little bit. This may be the first time you're seeing it. Sam and Khan 
Sam, Sam and Khan is the gentleman who made this, and he has created over 2,700 videos covering, as he says, everything from arithmetic to physics to finance and history. He has degrees from Harvard and MIT, probably two of the most prestigious universities in the world. So he is certainly somebody who knows what he's talking about, but he really has a gift for explaining things. And he's, he, you know, they've got algebra, algebra one, but he goes all the way down to basic addition. And if we scroll down just a little bit, I'm scrolling down, you can see just how many videos he has here. If we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to developmental math. This is where in the classroom we spend the most of our time. And all of these words that are blue are links that you can click on. Well, I'll just click on the first one that take you to a video. And here's the video. And they're on YouTube as well, as you can see down here. So if you're ever at home, even if you don't have an account, I haven't even logged in here, but if you're ever at home and your child doesn't know how to do an assignment, come to the Khan Academy and chances are there's a video here that can explain what uh, you're looking for. Let me go back up to the top. If you don't know, like today we did adding fractions, so I might enter into the search bar. If I don't want to scroll all the way down, I might say adding fractions. And look, adding fractions with like denominators, adding fractions with unlike denominators. We did adding fractions with unlike denominators. And here is a video showing us how to do that. And there's videos before and after, so if you want to you know, go back a couple steps in the process, you can click on previous video, how to find a common denominator, which is an important step. So hopefully you're, you're seeing right now just how powerful of a tool Khan Academy can be. And it makes your life easier as a parent, because you don't have to know all this stuff. Now you just find the video and you know, even maybe even watch it with your child, and then you both have learned how to do this, and, and you can do homework more successfully at home. All right, but this is just scratching the surface of Khan. Let me show you where it gets great. So we come up here to click Login, and you can either log in with a Google or a Facebook. So if you already have a Facebook account, you don't have to go through the Google thing I just showed you. Just click on that. I'm going to log in with my Google, so I click on that. Um, it already has my email in there, and then I just type in my password. What we're in five Fiverr. That's not my password, I'm just talking gibberish. And then sign in. And it says this application, the application Cotton Academy, is requesting permission to access your Google account, and I want to allow that. It's basically just a way of keeping track of me. So now it has me logged in. So there's there's something I want you to do right off the bat, and that is go to the very bottom, scroll all the way down. You have to go all the way to the bottom, and there's this little button right here that says Add a Coach. And I am the coach. So if you add a coach, you type it in here, and you would type in Mr. W. Teacher. I'm not going to do that because I can't coach myself. But when you do that, oh, it would be capital M, capital W, capital T. It says right here. When you do that, then I can see the progress your child is making. So, progress in what, you ask? I'm glad you asked. Let's go back to the home page. So your child comes, they log in, now what? We're going to come up and click on practice. This is where it gets really cool. I don't know why it has those green. Oh, green is what I can choose to do. It's kind of the starting points. I could choose any of these. If we zoom out, there's a ton of them. Um, I, I theoretically could choose any of them. But, you know, let's just start at the beginning. Uh, you'll see what. So I'm going to click on addition one. This is just the very beginning. And it gives me an addition problem right here. One plus ten. And so over here, I'm going to use my keyboard to type in the answer. It's, of course, eleven. Check answer. Next question. Five plus seven. Five plus seven is over here. So I type in twelve. Check answer. Correct. Next question. All right. Eight plus seven is fifteen. Check answer. Correct. Next question. 10 plus 9 is 19. Check answer. Next question. 6 plus 5 is 11. Check answer. Next question. And look, it says you're ready to move on. I'm proficient. So basically what this is, is an automatic teacher and grader. And it, it shows, it keeps track of what I got right and what I got wrong. And once I get five correct in a row, 
or if I miss a couple, then you, I think you have to go up to like 10 correct in a row to really make sure you've mastered it. But once I've gotten five in a row correct, it assumes, and accurately I would say, that I am proficient. Oh, here's the, here's the key, proficient, suggested, and for review, so as we go further. So you might say, Mr. Wagner, why would I want my child to start with addition? And that's a good point. Uh, but really, this is a good place to start at, and I recommend going through all of them, just to make sure, just so you and I can have the peace of mind that there are no holes in your child's knowledge gap and ability gap as far as math is concerned. So when you start with this, you know, they can, they earn points, they get badges, it does a good job. And then I, I can't show you what the coach screen looks like because I don't have anybody actually signed up, but I can then keep track of their work. And if I see they get down here to division three and they're stuck on it, I'll be able to see that. I'll say, oh, they've, they've tried it several times and can't quite get past it. Then they come to school and I can sit down one-on-one -on -one with them and voila, now I can fix where they're making a mistake. And then they move on. And, you know, the, the really awesome part, oh, well, too far out, is there's all these things. So maybe you have a child who is pretty quick at math, and in class, they're one of the ones who gets done early and is reading a book while I'm still teaching, which happens sometimes. You know, I can only go as fast as the kids who don't understand, and so I was this way in school. I would get done early, and I wouldn't have anything to do. Well, these for them, they can work ahead and they can get into advanced math. It comes down here, this is algebra, linear equations, inequalities. I mean, half of this stuff I wouldn't even know how to do because it's middle high school math. But with each one, let me go back in here. Let's go to multiplication. When I'm in the practice, if I look at this and I say, I don't know how to do this, I'm stuck. I can watch a video. Sal has a video. I just press play and he teaches me. And hopefully, this one's a 13 minute video, maybe you wouldn't need to watch all of it. Um, but then I could come back, get rid of that. Oh yeah, now I know how to multiply. One times 10 is 10. So that is Khan Academy start to finish. I know that was a lot, so I'm sorry for bombarding you. Maybe I should break it down, maybe I will. But I cannot stress enough how powerful of a tool this is for you as a parent and also for your child. It, you will see amazing, amazing growth in your child's math ability if you use that. I mean, treat it like a reading contract. Say you have to do this 20 minutes every night, and they will do a couple lessons a night and make amazing progress. Well, thank you for listening. I'm glad you took the time to go through all this, and I look forward to seeing your child uh, on my Khan Academy list. Have a good day.